high relevant student so in this video i'm going to explain to you what you should expect when it comes to term four all right so basically before we discuss with our um, paper one and, and paper two scope uh, let's start with the work of term four all right uh, when we check a teaching plan uh, for grade 11 uh, there is only one chapter that is going to be covered in this term okay term four for grade 11 we have one chapter which we call it vat value added tax so in this chapter uh, guys you are expected to know the following number one you must understand what is vat what is the meaning of vat value added tax and you must know the rate that uh, in South Africa, the rate is 15%. You must know the purpose of VAT. You must also know uh, what is zero-rated VAT. What is exempted VAT? Uh, I did the other video where I was explaining everything from the scratch. You must go and watch it after this one. Okay. Also, guys, you are expected to know the calculation of VAT inclusive, exclusive, and the calculation of VAT. All right. As well as uh, you must be able to know how to calculate VAT input and VAT output. So this is the only chapter that you are going to deal with when it comes to term four. Okay. Now let's discuss what is more important. Term four, we don't have a test. We only have final examination, which you are going to write paper one and paper two. All right. So now the question is, what are you going to expect in paper one? What are you going to expect in paper two? Answer is very simple, guys. Paper one, uh, you must know a partnership. Okay, and partnership comprise of income statement, a balance sheet. Okay, you must know a note and you must know internal control. So chapter one basically is financial statement. So you must practice them in and out. Basically is term two. Okay, if you still remember what you were doing term two, is your paper one term one of reconciliation fix the assets term three um, of manufacturing inventory uh, as well as cost accounting it's paper two which means that term one and term three and term four is paper paper two all right so this is how your scope is going to comprise so basically each paper will have 150 marks and it's gonna be two hours it's gonna be two hours so in total is 300 these two papers which means that if if both combine you get 90 it's 30 percent which is not good which means that you are expected to get at least 120 over 300 in order for you to get 40 percent so if you are looking for 50 percent you must get 150 is total uh, the other paper and zero from other paper but uh, i always encourage my student those who are attending extra class that guys you must make sure that from 150 you get at least 100 if the the paper is more difficult get at least 100 you will be more safe okay um so this is how term four uh, will contain a work so those who have been joining our extra class guys please make sure that you join because other students um when it comes to term three they find that the question paper that they were writing is one of the paper that we covered when we were doing uh, our online extra class remember guys 
online extra class um, contain many papers than the one that we have on youtube because on youtube you just gonna watch a video that was recorded three years ago some of the papers are outdated so you have to make sure that you attend a live class uh, which is only 100 rand we only left with two months guys two months is 200 200 uh, is not a lot of money um, compared to the future of the student so you have to make sure that you communicate with your parents so that they can help you to join uh, this extra class as well as guys I know that some of the students they also don't have a study guide make sure that you get your own soft copy which is only 100 rand it's going to assist you of course to get many question papers and memorandum that is going to assist you to practice because if you just practice with a paper that you don't even have a solution how are you going to assist yourself at the same time you don't have a person that you can uh, consult because you you didn't pay any single extra class so guys let's do so so that we can make it to grade 12. also guys a uh, grade 11 student you must know this because we are going to grade 12 uh, let me confirm the date because we are going to grade 12 we are going to start this class very early uh, in 2025 january so uh, next year January we are going to rip open on on 5 of January 5 January it will be Sunday okay which means that probably we can restart the class on 6 6 February we will be opening our grade 12 class you have to make sure that you come as early as possible you get your own link so that when we start the class uh, you can start with other student also guys uh, those who um, we, we understand that uh, guys we don't have um, same income some of you guys uh, your parents are going to be broke in January so it's better if you come in December you uh, we can allow you to pay for for January because if you struggle to start with us in January, it might be difficult for you uh, to find us in the middle uh, of the classes in February because some of the things will be already covered and we can't repeat because there are some students or there is one student who didn't join us in time. So make sure that you join in time uh, so that you can save yourself and get good marks when you go to grade 12. All right, I hope you enjoy and please go and check this lesson. I covered them. I covered VAT part one and part two uh, and part three so that you can know at least the basic and how you should answer this question. I will see you on the next one.